Whose fault was it, in my opinion, is a ridiculous series which unravels the origin of a specific event. Starting with the problem, the video will find the roots of what really caused the situation to occur. If you guys do enjoy this new series I am willing to start, please make sure to tell me in the comments, as I personally don't see much significance in the outcome as it being plain silly. That's all I wanted to say, enjoy the video. Emperor Sheev Palpatine grew to power by using a manipulative tactic having been planned a millennium earlier by the great Darth Bane. Sheev initiated the First Galactic Empire shortly after the events of Order 66, knowing his intentions would not be stopped by the Jedi, the Separatists, or the Senate because he is obviously the Senate. I am the Senate. Having ruled the mighty government for 23 years, his destiny finally met him aboard the second Death Star orbiting the moon of Endor, where his apprentice Darth Vader threw him down the shaft after witnessing his son Luke being tortured by Palpatine. Obviously, we know that Darth Vader is responsible for the downfall of Emperor Palpatine, but why was it the fallen Jedi? What is the reason for the Dark Lord of the Sith putting a dent into a galactic-wide authority? It's necessary to know why Darth Vader killed the Emperor, which as we know from Episode 6, is because of Palpatine's release of Force Lightning on Luke Skywalker. Palpatine converted Anakin to a forceful monster years ago because of his promise to save the ones he loved. Evidently, Padme died even though Palpatine ensured that she would survive. Watching his son be tormented to the very fulcrum of death caused Darth Vader to remember Palpatine's guarantee many years ago that he broke so suddenly. These events would not have ensued if Luke's relevation with Leia did not happen. The Jedi Knight had already begun sensing Vader's presence upon arrival, though he didn't live out his expectations until his talk with Leia. Vader's on that ship. Luke knew in his gut he had to confront Vader one final time to attempt to transform his father to the light side. So after C-3PO's presentation to the Ewoks, Luke had a one-on-one -on -one talk with his sister. He explained to her her true family heritage, as well as his planned surrender to the Emperor as seen in Return of the Jedi. Soon after, he truly gave himself up to the Imperial forces and as we know, met with the Sith Mastermind. But why did Luke understand his mission to bring his father back to his roots? Earlier before Luke's return to the Rebel Alliance, he talked with Yoda for the last time on Dagobah. As heard in the movie, Yoda did not believe Luke's Jedi training would be complete until he confronted Vader again. However, Luke grew more and more unsure if Vader was truly his father. So because of this, Yoda confirmed that yes, Vader is his father, and even that his sister is Leia, as said before. Your father is. Just seconds later, Yoda perished and became one with the Force. It's also necessary to know why Luke was led to this green mysterious creature a year prior to its death. In The Empire Strikes Back, this is clearly noticeable when Luke and Han are patrolling the ice planet of Hoth. While Han began returning to Echo Base, Luke observed a quote-unquote meteorite that impacted the cold snowy surface and so decided to stay behind to investigate. But before he could even move a foot, his Tauntaun started to yelp, and soon after, Luke met the claw of a Wampa. We obviously know that Luke escapes a Wampa cave, and the events directly after. As Luke looks off in the distance, he is met with Obi-Wan's Force Ghost. He instructs Luke to travel to the Dagobah system and learn the ways of the Force from the Jedi Master who instructed himself. You will go to the Dagobah system. Dagobah system. Now, if you're new to Star Wars and it's kind of weirded out that this old man is telling this boy to travel to this creepy green creature swamp-like planet, it's good to answer the question of why Obi-Wan is training Luke. Kenobi has been watching Luke since the very beginning of his birth due to his Force sensitivity and possibility to become a Jedi. 19 years later, however, Old Ben reveals his history to him, explaining that Vader murdered his father, metaphorically. Skywalker, in turn, reveals Leia's message to Kenobi that begs for help. As we know, the two hire Han and Chewie to help transport them to the Death Star to rescue Leia, but ultimately, Ben is killed aboard the space station by Vader's blood. So since we know Luke becomes a Jedi, how did he become Force sensitive? Well we know that Darth Vader is Anakin, and obviously nothing changed in terms of being able to use a Force. Before Anakin was a Sith, he was one of the best or even the best Jedi Knight in the entire Order. He liberated countless worlds, stopped many criminal and separatist movements, and was even pulled out of battles thought to be disastrous as Chancellor Palpatine knew Skywalker would be useful in the upcoming years. 
The Chancellor and many also Jedi knew that Anakin was extremely powerful in the Force, as he possessed over 20,000 midichlorians, more than anyone in galactic history. And why is it that Anakin has this many midichlorians? Anakin is believed to have been conceived by the Force, an accident caused by both Darth Plagueis and Palpatine. So, yes, ironically, Emperor Palpatine could have possibly caused his own death. In summary, Chief Palpatine caused his own death because he was tormenting Vader's son, because Luke knew he had to confront his father again, because Yoda told him to, because Obi-Wan told Luke to travel to Dagobah, because Obi-Wan has been training Luke, because he's Force-sensitive, because his father is Force-sensitive, because Palpatine and his master made a mistake in the Force. I know, pretty complicated. Let me know what you guys think of this new series that I'm taking a go at. Also make sure to comment your branch that caused Palpatine's death because there are many possibilities, this is just one of them. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys later, may the forest be with you.